Have you ever wondered if Flex Seal actually works? Can you really spray rubber from a can and it's watertight? I've always wondered. Today I'm going to compare Flex Seal to the brand from Lowe's called Rubber Flex. This is Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You, and my channel is dedicated to reviewing mostly as seen on TV items. I review some consumer gadgets, other household items. Once in a while, I do a little bit of a DIY just because I like to. If that's something that interests you, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and click that bell so you're notified every single time I release a video just like this one. Now, let's put these two items to the test. All right, so let's talk about some of the details. This is a black can of Flex Seal. I actually purchased it um, from my local Lowe's. It's 14 ounces and it costs right around 13 bucks, 12.98. This is a can of Rubber Flex, also purchased from Lowe's. It's 15 ounces, so it's one ounce more, and it was about 10 bucks. I was actually going to buy this from the store when I asked the guy, he goes, hey, why don't you do this? This stuff is the same stuff, but a little bit cheaper, so give it a try. And I thought, great, because I'm going to do a review video anyway, so why not grab another product? All right, so my goal today is I'm going to do most of this outside because it is aerosol. I don't want to be spraying a mess inside, but I bought a couple of these from the dollar store, and I'm going to spray them with the rubber products and see if it will drain water. I've got a box that um, I'm going to see if I can get water tight. And then at the end, I got these inexpensive like butter knives, and I'm just going to coat the handle just to see if I can get a coating on there. I know in the in the can form you're supposed to be able to like dip it in, but I just want to see if I can spray it too. So let's go outside and just put these two products to the test. We're going to use the Rubber Flex here. Um, it's a, produ a product I bought from Lowe's. This one says you're supposed to spray it between two and ten inches away from what you're going to um, spray. In about ten minutes it's dry to the touch, but they recommend at least waiting twenty to thirty minutes before putting a second application on. We're also going to be looking at the Flex Seal. Now this one's a little different because even the direction of this one say 8 to 10 inches away um, from the product. I'm sorry, 8 to 12 inches away from the product. And it says allow 24 hours between coats. So this is one that's going to take a little bit longer, but we're going to do exactly what it says here on the container. What I'm going to do is I'm going to coat the entire inside of the box. And when this dries... I'm going to fill it up with water to see if it's watertight. So let's do this little box first. All right, so that's one coat that I've done for this box. I'm gonna let that dry and they'll put a second coat on. Now let's do the other box with the flex seal. All right, so one coat of flex seal is done. We'll let that dry. We'll come back. This one I'll redo an application in about 30 minutes. This one I'll do another application tomorrow. I can already tell right off the bat that it's not really making a seal. Can you see in there that I can see right through? And this is just the first attempt at this. Let's see what we got. Do have some of the oh, if I do it on that side, maybe it's a little better. Now this is doing just as bad as that one. Can you see it's not even connecting? Huh. Well, to be honest with you, that's a complete fail for me. I'm not even getting anything in there. Yeah, it's going right through. I'm going to have to rethink this plan um, before I continue on. As we continue to wait for these boxes to dry, I'm actually going to spray and go ahead here and spray the um, silverware, the handles here, just to see if we can do any kind of a rubberized handle. So let's do this one first. All right, now we'll do the other one.
All right, so it looks like the flex seal went on a lot better onto the metallic knife. And this one, maybe it's going to level out, but I'm going to let them sit now um, for a period of time. And we'll flip them over and we'll see what it looks like at the end. Okay, so it's been 30 minutes. This box right here that had the rubber flex is completely dry to the touch. This one, however, it's still a little tacky here or there. Um, so I'm going to reapply this one, and then I still have to wait until tomorrow to do that one. But I want to show you this one is completely dry already, which is pretty impressive. The knives are drying too. Um, they look pretty dry. I'm going to flip them over and spray the other sides, but I wanted to show you this step. Okay, so here's what I came up with for spraying these strainers, okay? So I've wrapped the inside around the curb with Reynolds Wrap as something to hold on to. I'm hoping this really works out um, because the first attempt I had really failed, but I've stuffed this up in there just in trying to get it. So let's spray it down and see. Now, the rubber flex actually did well the first time, but let's see if this helps too. Oop. One thing that I'm noticing with the rubber flex is that the tip is getting clogged, so I have to clean that out because it's spraying at a weird angle. But let's let these sit now for a day or so, maybe do some reapplications if we can. Um, but I'm not liking the strainer test right now. I would love to get your opinion of either flex seal or rubber flex. Let me know in the comment section below. Have you used something like this before? Let me know down there in the comment section below. Let's pour some water in. All right, so I poured some water in, and I can immediately see some leaking out right here. This is the flex seal box. Let's pick it up and see what we got. Yeah, just dripping out. It's not a very good seal. Let's see about this box. Um, it's also leaking out. So the box test for each of these was not really good, per se. Let's try the water test here. First the flex seal. Now the rubber flex. Looks like they're holding. Well, actually the flex seal looks like it's dripping right now, right out of the bottom. Can't see a hole, but it's definitely dripping out. That's frustrating. The rubber flex is holding strong. This week, we've been looking at two different kind of spray rubber or spray sealers. First is our very own, as seen on TV, Flex Seal. And our second one is none other than Lowe's Rubber Flex. And so I put them to the test using three different tests, right? So I had a strainer that we sprayed to see if we could hold water. I had some inexpensive knives to see if we can spray the handle, maybe to use that for our tools as far as putting a rubberized handle. And then I also had the inside of a box that we sprayed to see if that also could hold water. First test was none other than the strainer. Let's talk about it. When I first went out there, I expected this immediately to bond to the screening and be a simple, simple thing. Sort of happened with the rubber flex. I got a pretty good coating and I looked at it like, well, this is definitely going to need a second or maybe even third coat. And I was okay with that. Well, then I got to the flex seal and it, it just shot right through. It almost like didn't bond at all. And I was like, oh no, this is going to take forever. So then I had to think of some sort of contraption or idea to make sure this bonded or this rubber bonded to the screen. So then I wrapped inside with aluminum foil on both of them. And then it, it kind of held up. Um, but as you saw in the video, when I filled them with water, the flex seal just did not hold up. Water just started dripping out. I couldn't find holes, but it just was dripping out of the bottom um, very, very fast to the point where the water in there just drained out very, very fast and it was gone. 
rubber flex here. It dripped a little, but I think that was mainly on the outside where the rubber part wasn't there, but it held the water in there pretty well. And even an hour or so later, the water was still there. So round one definitely is gonna go to rubber flex from Lowe's. So that's one to zero if you're keeping track. Well, round two, we went to those inexpensive knives trying to seal the, um, just see if we can put a rubberized coating on the knife handle. So here's what I had, okay? So this is, of course, Flex Seal because it's the black one. And then here's my Rubber Flex because, well, it's the white one. Um, if, if you look at these, you can tell that the Flex Seal made a better bond. You can still see the original shape. Um, and it looks okay, right? Well, now let's look at the Rubber Flex. This looks rough. I mean, it does not look near as good. I know there's some things from when it was sitting on the table, not just that, but there's clumps, there's bubbles. It just didn't bond as well as the Flex Seal itself. So round two goes to Flex Seal. So you see what we're doing here? It's one to one. So the tie breaking round goes to the box. And to be honest with you, neither did very well. I sprayed two coats on the inside of these boxes. Um, I did wait an entire day because that's what the Flex Seal said we had to do. And they both leaked. I mean, they both leaked quick. Now, there was one that was leaking quicker than the other, and that was the Flex Seal. When I poured this in, the water just leaked out. And I honestly, I looked through the box. I couldn't find where the crack was. Where is this water coming out? Now, I will say the Rubber Flex box did leak as well but just didn't leak as fast. And to be honest with you, I was looking at the boxes and the Flex Seal box was probably a little easier to seal because it didn't have those flaps at the bottom um, like the one from Rubber Flex. So round three goes to Rubber Flex and if you're keeping track, that's two to one. The winner of this test goes to Rubber Flex. You know what, it's interesting because it's a less expensive product, about, about three bucks, but it actually outperformed the Flex Seal. Now I do notice when I was using both of them, I had to clean off the nozzle heads because the rubber would build up and dry. So that's something you might need to do. They actually say don't poke it with a needle, actually scrape it off um, to use it that way. This product is not really meant to, I guess, cover knives or fill boxes or even cover strainers, but it is meant to like patch leaky roofs or gutters overlap or around windows for ceiling. So I think these tests actually provided some real world applications. I, I think if you're going to be using it on something, you need to have a solid back to put it against. And this is definitely only a temporary fix. This should not be your end all um, fix. Anyway, this was my test between the Flex Seal and the Rubber Flex. This was Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You. As always, I appreciate you stopping by. Have a great day. I really appreciate you watching my video of the Flex Seal goes head to head with the Rubber Flex. If I were to say a buy or deny for this one, I would probably go with buy. It's a good product, they're both good products. This one, one is only 10 bucks at Lowe's, um, but this is an okay product as well. And the price point isn't that high. If you know what you're getting into, sure. If you have to just seal something real quick and it's not that big of a gap, or you got something backing and you want to just seal it real quick, yeah, sure, it'll it'll work in a pinch, but definitely not a permanent result. I just wanted you to know what you're getting into. And since you're still here, I would love it if you would go on and see my Micro Mechanic review. I'm going to link it right up here. The Micro Mechanic is really cool. It's a way for you to tell what those pesky little check engine lights mean in your car and with the right application remember i use the carista app you're able to detect what was wrong and even clear the code if it's not that big of a deal um, i've actually used this twice in the past week for two different vehicles and it was a lifesaver so go check on this micro mechanic review right up here i'll see you over there at this video